friend of mine who worked at Norton came to my house with a, a prototype rotary that they'd got. I thought this would make a fantastic race bike. I said, you've got to try and get me a job there. And he got me a job in the service department looking after police bikes. They were doing about 85 horsepower, those were. I said, I'm sure I can get 120 horsepower out of one of these engines. There was a scrap police bike in the corner there, been there for years, and I said, can I, in my own time, at my own expense, can I do something with this? And eventually they said, OK. So Stu Spray, he came in after the first practice and I went up to him and I said, right, what do you want me to do? And he said, just put petrol in it. Don't you want anything else in though? And he won both races. We won the actual championship in 89. We had quite a lot of lap records for the circuits as well. When we won the early races, the crowd went absolutely mad. I reckon we must have doubled the amount of people coming to the race meetings, you know, from interest for it, with it being a British bike and, and sounding so different from anything else. The strength of a rotary engine is its power to weight ratio. It's obviously much lighter as an engine concept. There's only three moving parts, so there's only a, basically an eccentric shaft, or you can think of that as a crankshaft. There's no stopping and starting like pistons going up and down. It's just a, a constant rotation. Because this exhaust system is then using an exhaust ejector, which cools the engine, it uses the energy from the gas flow to develop a vacuum. And it's that vacuum that pulls the heat out of the middle of the engine. And that's why the exhaust system is different from anything else. What I wanted to do with this, this bike, really, in a way, was give the opportunity for people to ride something that would be like the two-stroke 500s, etc., with, with the same sort of weight, 130 kilos. But you didn't ever get the chance to ride anything like that, really. So it was to give people a chance to ride a bike that just feels like a motor GP bike. It's just got loads and loads of power, you know, lots and lots of torque. Over 200 horsepower and over 100 pounds feet of torque, and that's some machine. And people like the real noise of them as well at the race meetings. They've just got a fantastic noise to them, you know, compared to anything else.